So what we have here is a sheet model with a border and a typical cut sheet that would be seen in a roadway design project. In this case and in many other cases, our client has sent us this design file along with the necessary font files. So when we open this design file, the existing text is not appearing with the correct font and we can't place new text either with the necessary font. If you open the text editor and try to access the drop down menu for fonts, it's not there. So we just know something is incorrect with our font configurations. So first we'll use the key in show font to access a list of available fonts for that this session of MicroStation. Here you can sort the fonts by name or type. And in this case, we know that we need font number 73, which is a Swiss font, and it should be a Bentley resource font, but we can't see it here in the list. So if your fonts aren't here, then they're not being read by MicroStation. Next, let's check our configuration variables. So go to File, Settings, Configuration, Configuration Variables. Then go to the Symbology category. And the two configuration variables we want to check are MS Font Path and MS underscore SYMB RSRC, also called your Symbology Resource config variable. And it looks like both of these variables are pointing to our networked D drive. Specifically, looks like they're going to be in the organization folder for the most part, maybe some in our workspace directory as well. So what you'll do is just choose one of these pathways defined by these variables. We'll choose the fonts folder here defined by MS font path in this case. Next, we'll go back to our key in dialog and we'll type in MDL space load space font utilities and then press enter and then font space utilities space dialog and press enter again and that will bring up your font utilities dialog. We'll use this to determine what fonts are in which RSC file that have been provided by our client. So we need to locate our fonts first so this is also something to keep in mind. You need to know what font files to use or if they've been sent to you. We'll try this first one here. It's blank so that's either a corrupted resource file or it just simply has not had any fonts added to it yet. We'll try the second one here and this has a lot of fonts in it as you can see by the font list. We're going to look for number 73. Don't see it in this list here so we'll we'll check the other one, the last remaining one that was sent to us. So let's check this third one here. And yep, there it is, number 73 Swiss. So we'll use, this will be the font file that we need to add to our configuration. Now that we've got the correct file, or the font file, and the correct pathway to place it in, let's copy this font file that contains our font, and go back to the directory defined by that MS font path variable, and then paste it in this directory. So we'll just put that in there. There we go. We'll close out of that. Now to for MicroStation to read it, we'll fully close MicroStation and then reopen it. Anytime you make changes to the configuration or add files to your configuration, closing and reopening MicroStation is what we recommend, as this will allow MicroStation to read the changes. So going back and into our drawing, we'll just take a look at this text. And yep, it's the Swiss 73 font is now loaded and our text, existing text is now correct. And we could choose the font in the drop down menu of the text editor. Using that show font key in, we can locate our font. So yes, it is available for this session. So that's good. Just checking all the boxes there. So that basically resolves our font issues in this case. Another question we commonly get is how to determine what type of font you're working with. What If you get a file, well, how do you tell this is a resource, or this is a true type font, or this is a SHX font? If you toggle on file name extensions in the Windows Explorer, 
you can tell the file type. So this is these are all resource fonts determined by the file name extension. Over in this directory, if you toggle on file name extensions, all of these font files are SHX fonts. So those are the AutoCAD shapefile fonts. And then the true type fonts, it's kind of different. They're located in your Windows directory for fonts. And just just to prove to you that they are .ttf true type font files, you toggle on the font file names column header. You can see that most of these, if not all, are .ttf. So all the true type fonts for the most part will be stored here. They can be stored elsewhere, but that's where they're going to be stored by default on your machine. One last thing I wanted to show you during this live demonstration is um, just a hypothetical case. Let's say you had to convert this file to DWG and send it to an AutoCAD user. So go to your Save as DWG options. And in the font section, you can see that MicroStation fonts are going to be automatically converted to AutoCAD fonts. This is on by default. And you can change the directory where the output fonts are going to be placed after the conversion. So let's save that as DWG. And going back to the directory of this file, you can see that the DGN file was saved to DWG and the Swiss font is now an SHX font. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.